good morning. Today is a, a, a good day because we're, uh, along with the Yonkers Fire Department, we're unveiling the new Lucas Mechanical CPR device. Uh, this is new life-saving equipment that has been uh, purchased and designated to our first responders, to the fire departments, uh, and all of our uh, companies all across the city. And as you know, every second matters when it comes to saving a life. And this new technology uh, has allowed us to, to reduce fatalities, and the Lucas uh, medical device will help first responders cut the rate even further. Um, I want to say thank you to our federal delegation uh, for which they've been able to secure federal funds to allow us to be able to purchase these devices. Uh, they were, the city has assigned 15 devices to uh, every company in the city. And, uh, and we want to just, uh, again, just to uh, say thank you to our firefighters who do a great job each and every day for the residents of our city. And uh, with that, I'd like to ask uh, the fire commissioner of the city of Yonkers, Commissioner Sweeney, to say a few words, and then to turn it over to, uh, uh, to the lieutenant to discuss more about how this, this device really works. Commissioner. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, as the mayor stated, we were able to secure uh, federal funding through DHS, through the MMRS grant, the Metropolitan Medical Response System grant, to uh, purchase these life-saving equipment. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, uh, we think we are the second fire department in the country to use these devices. So that's a, a feather in the cap for the uh, city of Yonkers, for the mayor and the Yonkers Fire Department. Uh, this will enable the, uh, as, well, during our first responder program, when our engine companies respond to medical emergencies, if anybody's in cardiac arrest, it will ensure the uh, correct depth of the uh, compressions going forward. It will ensure an uninterrupted uh, compression cycle. Uh, currently, if during transport, there are interruptions, there are problems giving the correct depth. Uh, as you could well aware, trying to go downstairs or loading the patient to the hospital or in transport in the back of the ambulance. This will eliminate all of those issues going forward and ensure prompt compressions, prompt circulation, and hopefully uh, uh, increase the uh, savability of our first responder program going forward. So with that, I think we're going to have, uh, have Lieutenant Pfeiffer and Captain Folkets from the training division here. And uh, Lieutenant Pfeiffer is going to give you a hands-on demonstration of the Lucas device itself. So this is the, the Lucas 2 CPR device from Physio Control. It's going to assist us do CPR uh, more efficiently and, and continuously. The gentleman arrive on the scene, the firefighters will get there, recognize the patients in cardiac arrest, no pulse, no breathing. They'll immediately start manual CPR while someone is attaching this device. The base plate, as you see, would go behind them to provide a firm support. The device will click on. Once they power it up, they'll measure and put this plunger down, which would take the place to where their hands would be. The device will now do a two-inch compression, which is what the recommended depth is, at 100 compressions per minute, which again is the American Heart Association recommended compression rate. This will do compressions continuously. Firefighters will take two hands, hold the, the bag valve mask for ventilation here, and every 30 compressions, they'll deliver two ventilations until an advanced life support unit would come in. Once this is started, we'll apply our automatic defibrillator. American Heart recommends that early defibrillation within four to six minutes increases the chance of survival. So our average response time is about four minutes and 13 seconds, so we bring CPR, defibrillation, and now we're a better way to do CPR to the patient. We've already seen some, some dramatic results with this device since it's in service.